you say is the main innovation CEMEX has implemented in the past five years? Uh, I think the main one has to do with the uh, implementation or the use of digital technology. Uh, not necessarily because of the technology itself, but because of the possibility of developing a, a superior customer experience uh, enabled by technology. Superior to what we currently can offer to the market and superior to whatever any, any other uh, competitor also can offer to the market. I think most of the innovation is coming uh, on that side. There are other innovations like new products uh, and, new, and new services that also, you know, it has its, its own position. But I, I again, I, I think the, the, the one that is really transformational is the, the, the use of digital technology in the business. How is CEMEX incorporating new digital technologies in management and manufacturing or logistics? Yeah, well, I, the, the decision we made was to focus on, on uh, on the customer journey is, 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 you know, there are many ways in which different business can, um, uh, you know, uh, develop uh, digital solutions. In our case, we believe that, that the, 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 the potential disruption there might be in our industry has to do with the way you serve the market, you serve customers. And that's why we decided to focus completely in, in the market. So the, what we have been investing, what we have been doing, is developing a platform, a digital platform, uh, that is full in scope uh, in, in our uh, journey, in our customer journey. What I mean is it goes from very early stages on the relation of uh, customers and, and ourselves, all the way through to contracting, to delivering, to doing the whole, the whole process. And, and, uh, and that's a solution that in includes all our products, uh, includes all our businesses worldwide, and it's also a solution that is omnichannel, meaning in, in available in all type of devices. Um, in our business, we have different characteristics and needs, so certain, certain tasks can be done in a workstation in an office, but some others need to be done with your mobile or your smartwatch in a, in a job site, for instance, so it, it's, it's multi-channel. What is the key driver of innovation in CEMEX? Highly skilled human resources, well-established innovation processes, or something else? Uh, all of the above, but, mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, I, I think I, I would like to refer to the relevance of, again, relating innovation with digital technology. What I find very relevant is that a traditional company like, like a cement company, which is literally a bricks and mortar company, um, you know, need to, to learn about these new technologies. And it's funny because we all as consumers, we are all users of this new technology, you know, because of buying Amazon or the likes or because of using uh, transportation services like Uber or, or the likes. Or, so we are heavy users, but it happens that in some businesses, and the construction industry might be one of them, this technology has not really yet been heavily used. And, and what we need to, to be sure that, that, that we achieve is for, for people in the company, from, from myself, from the executive team to all levels, to learn to learn a bit about this uh, technology, methodologies, and ways of developing uh, solutions. It's very different to manage a cement business than managing a business that has the capability to develop a digital solution for its customers. What tools can be used to better foster innovation in big Latin American multinationals? Uh, I, I, I think that companies um, do have the possibility of, of, of developing capabilities, almost regardless of the context in which they are based, meaning uh, particularly multi-regional or global companies. Um, you cannot be uh, subject to, to the specifics of a given country or a given region. You have to develop solutions for your customers uh, uh, worldwide. 
Uh, and I think companies uh, can invest in developing capabilities uh, for, for themselves. I'm going to use the example of Semex. We have developed our own cap digital capabilities. We currently have 400 people, uh, digital natives, that we didn't used to have uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, but, you know, as being uh, um, a, a Mexican company, you know, our origins are Mexican, and, and participating in several countries in Latin America and in other emerging markets, we don't want to stop there meaning it was very challenging to get this, this group of people, these digital natives, so we can develop a digital solution. So what we are doing is we are uh, forming a digital hub in, in Monterrey, where our headquarters are based, inviting other companies with the same challenges or the same ideas of innovation in the digital world, and on top of that, to be sure that we can contribute to the community through you name it, ways, scholarships, special programs, so people can learn and can innovate by themselves in their own businesses, in startups. So it's, it's, it's like trying to, to, to promote and to facilitate for this to happen.